Today we're going to use oil pastels to add some color to our Picasso portraits. Last time we painted our portraits black and now that the paint is dry we can color on top of it with these bright colors and it really make the colors stand out and almost have like a glow in the dark look. Now you can choose any color that you want to use today over any area, but what we want to do is we want to try to get as much color on our portrait as possible because the more color you add, the more your colors are going to stand out. So I'm just going to keep on going over the top of my black paint and the more color I layer on, the brighter it gets. And as you can see, the oil pastel stands out really, really bright on a lot of these areas. The other cool thing about using oil pastels is when you color over an area that has texture, the texture really pops out even more. I'm just gonna keep on going, adding color to my portrait until the entire top surface is full. Now, the funny thing about coloring on clay is it has texture. So you're not gonna be able to get your big thick oil pastel down in all of the cracks and in between every shape. And that's okay. You're actually not really supposed to because the mixture of colorful areas and areas that are left black is what really makes the textures sort of pop out. So just get your oil pastel on as many areas as you can. And if you have an area that you can't reach, that is totally okay. Also, as you're working, you might wanna blend some different colors together. Like I started out with a pink on this stripe, but I sort of want it to be a little bit more red. So I'm blending a red into the pink. Now, whenever you're blending, try to pick colors that are neighbors on the color wheel or neighbors that are sort of similar. That way you won't get brown when you blend your colors. If you blend too many colors in the same area or if you blend colors that are far away from each other on the color wheel, you might get a brown color on your portrait and that might not be what you want. So always think before you blend so that you're able to make a good choice. When you are done with the coloring part, we have one last step. We are gonna be using some Mod Podge to seal our color onto our portrait because oil pastel could easily smear off on your fingers if you rub it. So I'm just gonna take a paintbrush and dip this into the Mod Podge and very gently, I'm gonna tap that Mod Podge on top of my color. So I'm not scrubbing hard because like we said, we don't want the oil pastel to smear. We're just kind of gently setting the Mod Podge on top of the color by sort of tapping, almost like a bouncing up and down motion. And you might be thinking that this Mod Podge is sort of ruining all the beautiful colors that we put on with this white gooiness, but don't worry. When the Mod Podge dries, it will dry completely clear. So if it looks like it is covered with a thick coating of white, that is actually exactly what you want because that means that your colors will be really well sealed on and it will have a nice shiny finish once the Mod Podge dries. When the Mod Podge is dry, you can see it's totally clear and gives your project a really nice shine.